So I'm back here in Twisted, and today I'm doing rather a challenge, if you will. I am only playing the smallest servers. Or, well, server, since I normally only do one storm day. Now, this storm day has just started, as you can see in the bottom corner. It is 12.30 p.m. in game. What I'm trying to figure out is if this storm is moving north or south, and by that indication, I would say it is moving north. But I'm going to wait for one more just in case. And that is a clear indication that this storm is moving north. So I need to get up into this uh, Palzoid Welchenville area. That's a mesocyclone, so definitely need to get north of that. Probably this road up here would be our best option. It's another one of those odd-shaped sideways ones, though. With no dust cloud being on the ground there, I can say that that is probably not going to touch ground, but yeah. And it almost did, but it went up. So the indication if those are going to touch down or not is if there is a dust cloud on the ground. I am now looking at this and realizing that there is no possible chance for me to intercept this. And I believe, once again, that that is not going to touch down. Oh no, it is rain wrapped, so that means it is. Oh? Never mind, I was wrong. It just dropped a really bad rain wrap. This storm up here is in a horrible location, so I'm gonna go track the storm that's just forming down here. This mesocyclone is still refusing to touch down on an enhanced risk server, which concerns me. So I think our best bet is with this storm. This thing's upper area is looking absolutely massive, so I'm probably gonna get off here at this, not this exit, but the next exit after that at Keysoda 53. Actually, after that even, I'm gonna get off later and probably go to this one at Keysoda 41, because the hook is all the way down here. Either... Beltrami County 10 or Keysoda 41 because 53 is going to be too far north at this point. At this point, Beltrami County or er, Wadena County slash Beltrami County 10 is going to be the best road at this point because uh, this is too far north and if we go here we're probably not going to make it in time. And a mesocyclone has now formed, and it looks like I actually estimated wrong. I need to be either here on Route 10 or Route 15. So, I'm probably just going to stay put for now. Wow, there's a lot of celebrities in this server. Justin Jefferson and Reed Timmer. Impressive. I think that tornado is on the ground, or no, it's also struggling to produce a tornado. The storm has also produced a hail core, which this one up here couldn't do. And it's actually not a horrible hail core either. So I rarely ever do this, but my final decision is I'm gonna move uh, yeah, that is touched down now. Dropped an hourglass tornado. But I'm gonna move over to the intersection because... I mean, if it's gonna hit anywhere, it's either gonna hit like right here where I am now or down there on that road. So this is the smartest place to be. The only thing about Keystone Route 15 is uh, there is trees literally everywhere, so if I do choose to go to Route 15, then we will probably not be able to get out. This thing is now upgraded to Orange CBS, and I think we're actually in a good spot. 
And if we're not, it's okay because this thing deploys really fast, unlike the Tiff 2. The Tiff 2 is not a great choice for me because I am not the greatest at judging where I need to be. But I'm gonna deploy because I think that's gonna hit literally like right here. Another decision, I do not like where we are, so I'm gonna go back over there again. And I think right here will be fine. And now I'm going forward again, I'm indecisive, I don't like it, it's probably not good for my mental health, but Boy. There we go. And yeah, that was messed up. The TBS is really off like it was. But yeah, this thing is actually pretty sharp. TVS says that I intercepted it, but now it says that it's not even in its path. So, that's why there should always be a Doppler. And there is actually yet another storm to the south, so I'm gonna head to that. This thing now has a tornado emergency, maybe for Hazel, but I think that's for 10 killer. So I think this uh, southern storm here is our best bet. The hook is off the map, so we gotta travel pretty far. We gotta get to Mizpah, but it shouldn't be too horrible. I've had to go from Hazelton to Hibbing in like five minutes before. Looks like there's actually a fellow Dom 3 here now, so there's that, I guess. And it looks like since this is slightly off, we're just gonna go right here. Especially since I don't have much else of a choice. back on just so I can see the wind speeds, but uh, we're looking at 152 miles an hour. So we're looking at a top of 172 miles an hour here, 173 now, 74, 5, and so on. Now, the again, meaning we are probably leading this one. That is definitely leading TBS by now. Yeah, no, 
don't doubt about that. So that is potentially slabbing some buildings. And yeah, just like we see here, just slab buildings and injured or deceased people everywhere. Actually, it looks like most of them are just injured, not deceased. So, uh, these houses up here literally dodged a bullet. Well, not an actual bullet, but a bullet of a tornado. And there is another mesocyclone headed right for us. This is giving me flashbacks right from the other time where the double wedges hit Hibbing and I intercepted both of them in the TIV 2. And that is the new mesocyclone, and I don't think it's actually going to directly hit Hibbing. I think it's just going to hit to the west of it, which is exactly what happened when there was two wedges. And yeah, it looks like it's going to hit in the exact same spot, so... I guess I'm gonna head to that south end again, but this thing still has yet to drop a tornado, but there is a funnel cloud as we speak, so I guess we'll look at that. This is exactly where we were when we got the other interception, and it looks like we're in the direct path of this one too. And this one has touched the ground now, and it is a similar funnel shape, but it looks like we are going to need to move backwards again. And having actually got their tornado sirens at the correct time this time, at least. So it looks like it's gonna hit, like, right in this, like, stretch. And it looks like we are in the direct path of the tornado, so I'm gonna deploy it right here. This tornado is definitely headed right for us. I see no left to right motion, and it's impossible for it to be headed away from us, but it actually just shifted a slight bit north, so we're gonna head that way. And it's orange CBS probably about to be red. So this is gonna be probably one of the coolest intercepts ever. This will probably have to be the title of the video. is an overturned Dominator one, which is never something I'd like to see. Somehow the tornado will cross right over here, but these light poles are still on, and that's probably not meant to happen. But, after all, this game is a beta still, so... I'm not exactly sure what that power pole is doing. Uh, well, it stopped, so I guess... Uh, and it's now dancing again, and that one is in the floor. And that one has a roof leaning up against it, so I guess we'll just uh, look at the radar. This one about to lift. This one just weakening. First one was obviously a lot more powerful, but the second one was cooler because we were pretty much on the dock when we intercepted it. And this one is lifted, so we can see the track of that one now. So the first tornado is the one that didn't even touch down. Here's this one that uh, touched down near Hibbing that we intercepted right here actually at its uh, strength. Or er, no, we intercepted it down here when it was right here. So the maximum width of this tornado was 3,300 feet. So now this one 
It, we did actually intercept it at its peak. I'd say that's probably about 4,000 feet, and I'm probably going to be right this time. And now it's 3,300 once again. I don't know how I messed that up so badly, but... It did track 7 miles, which was probably the longest tornado of today. But I guess we'll now look at the damage to see what EF rating it got. I'm guessing the first tornado is going to earn probably EF 3 to 4 damage, and the second one at probably 2 to 3. So no one helped all of these injured people along this road, and they all died, so... All of these buildings were slapped, by the way, so I will give that one an EF 4 rating. And the one that hit over here, I'm gonna give EF2 rating since it only ripped off a couple of roofs. So, it's not double EF5s like it was last time, or at least one EF5 and one EF4. Not sure what that is, that looks like a light bar of a tip. But, uh, oh wow, that is a lot of lag. And that tornado is finally lifted, so we can see the past track. And yeah, it literally touched down, hit Hibbing, and then lifted. Unlike this one, it touched down way over here in a lake, so that was technically a water spout. And then it stopped right at this highway sign, so pretty much landmark to landmark. Wow, looking at this server list, I'm the only one in this entire server that has a display name. That's actually kind of crazy. And now, the majority of this bigger storm that produced the monster tornado is now dying. But this one is still strong with a good hail core. But that is going to end the video since the storms have no chance at reproducing a new mesocyclone and there is no chance of a new storm. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm actually going to play clips of the Hibbing Twin Wedges. So, uh, if you did enjoy, please subscribe. See you all in the next video.